Good morning. Uh, today we will be inspecting this 2006 uh, 325i. 168,000 miles on it. Um, seven of the VIN is PT06640. Here we go. We're going to inspect. Um, we remove the oil pan or the, the drain cover from it, which is a, a bad indication because you can tell here it's been leaking and it's got leaking oil there. But customer doesn't say anything about it because it doesn't see it on the floor. So we got a coolant leak, an active coolant leak at the radiator. And it looks like here we had some faults determined that the catalytic converter on bank two is no good. But he said that the morning he was topping off his coolant and uh, dropped the cap. So it had a little bag over it in order for us to, to, to get him here. So let's bring it down and inspect the top. So from up here we can see that this looks like the oil filter housing is leaking. That gasket and it's seeping down. We have indication of it leaking this way as well. You can tell that it's pretty nasty down there. But of course he doesn't see it. Um, and he also, but you know, a clear indication from up top. Uh, looking down, you really don't see it. Uh, see anything leaking, so I guess that's why he's here, right? For us to inspect it. Uh, we got the okay to, to do the repairs, so um, I'll try to follow you through. So one of the reasons why this um, hose, is, hose just deteriorates is because it's inside the metal and the metal cooks it along with the aging coolant. So we've come up with an upgraded plan that's all aluminum. So this is subject for oil leaks, oil landing on it and just deteriorating. We've seen cars come in like that, but obviously with these bolts still in there. Um, so what we want to do is a preventive thing. Um, is uh, replace it with our upgraded uh, upgraded unit. So here's our upgraded unit. It's uh, cast aluminum. Got a little gasket on there. So it's the same thing. Essentially it's the same thing as this. Uh, it's a pretty nice upgrade. So as you can see the location of this oil filter housing just drips all over. It's a little gasket that's on that. But it leaks up to the front of the engine and the Here we are again. Um, we've already attached this coupler, and now we've um, we've taken out the collar and the old stuff from this hose. Now we got a new clamp. Just fit it in here. That's it. Uh, oil filter housing's back in. This guy's back in. Now we're gonna put the uh, radiator back together and then clean the motor.
right. Looks pretty clean to me. I would say that it's fixed.